Hey there, beer drinkers. Just got done editing and working on this episode that's long been in the works. It's uh, where I'm brewing a Belgian triple. I'm going from grain to glass, going through the whole process, cracking the grain, brewing the beer, or brewing the wort, making the beer, fermenting it, packaging it, and waiting and then serving it. All right, it's 5.30. It's 5.30 in the morning. I'm just going to turn the power on and get this bad boy coming up. Alright, time for the beta rest. We're gonna bump things up to 149. So I'll just raise up my mash, or correction, my hot liquor temp. I'm gonna put it up to 150. It's usually about one degree of separation between one to two between my mash and my hot liquor. And I'll just get my timer ready. All right, now it's time for us to do the alpha rest. So we're gonna bump up the temperature to uh, 155. I'm gonna actually put that to low, probably about 157. And then uh, we'll wait on the mash temperature to climb to uh, 155. We'll only be doing that for 10 minutes. So I'll set my alarm once we uh, hit 155. Might not be able to see this, but I'm checking the pH, and uh, yeah, it's looking like about 5.34, but uh, it's uh, a little bit lower than I predicted. It's still good. All right, we're about 155 on the mash temperature. I'm gonna go ahead and start my timer for the alpha rest. 30 minutes, not 10 minutes. And, uh, uh, we'll check back in a little bit. Alright, now it's time to mash out. So I'm going to raise that temperature up to 168. I'll actually hit 170 to wait until this hits 168. Hits it, we'll hold it for uh, we'll hold it for ten minutes. Alright, so we're done uh, done sparging. I'm just gonna get this thing boiling. Uh, pull the sample so I can go ahead and uh, check the original gravity or the, the pre-boiled gravity. So see how it goes. Dial this up.
All right, now I got to set for 45 minutes. Uh, I'm going to hook up my Whirlpool then, and uh, and then I'm going to do a 10 minute hop addition. I'm going to add the uh, the sugar at 10 minutes, and um, and then I'm going to put my Whirlpool in there too. So I got about 20 minutes left until I uh, do my until I hook up the uh, the Whirlpool, get that going. Uh, get my counterflow chiller uh, uh, sanitized, and, uh, and then five minutes after that, I, I add my last hop addition. So I'm gonna enjoy this uh, extra special bitter that I brewed. I don't know about a month and a half, two months ago. I've got it on nitro. I just tapped it last night, and it is awesome. It is dynamite. Cheers. All right, now it's time to reset, to open everything up. I'm just doing my whirlpool right now. And what's also happening, let's see if I can tilt this down. There you go. My whirlpool's going through my uh, my chiller the way I uh, sanitize it. Yeah, it took a second, but the whirlpool seems to be going real well. Man. Okay, we got it going now. It's flowing, it's sitting at about 65 degrees, and uh, I mean, the internal temperature is showing 69 degrees for the conical, but uh, it barely has any beer in it right now. So before too long, I mean, I've got the glycol set for 62, so the pump will kick on once I plug the pump in. But uh, we're looking pretty good now. All right, we got the fermenter all sealed up and uh, waiting on the temperature to get where it needs to be. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let the beer sit overnight. Um, you know, I, I did a really good job of sanitizing and, uh, and then I'm gonna dump the troop and then I'll oxygenate it. I'll pitch my yeast and we'll let it roll. I'm gonna dump the troop hot parade quarters the bottom of that conical
Hey, T. Hey, Brett. I got a beer for you, man. You gotta oh. try it. I just pulled it off the kegerator. Mmm. Tastes just like a Belgian triple. Well, I'll tell you what, you really know your beers because that is a Belgian triple. It is a beer that we named Slippery Neighbor Belgian Triple. And there's a story behind that, you can bet it. Well, uh, I can see why. This thing is pretty delicious, it's fruity, it's light, and it uh, feels like it's gonna get a little slippery later. Oh yeah. All right, beer drinkers, well, it's a wrap. Hope you enjoy the episode. Uh, we've got more coming at you. We're really gonna start putting out some more content, but then, uh, been slowed back lately, but we've got a bunch of good ideas. I've got some other friends that are going to be working with me now, and uh, I'm excited for what lies ahead. So please, share us with your friends, get them to subscribe, and I don't know, maybe we'll have some prizes or some contests out there. So if you've got any great ideas, please uh, please leave them in the notes. and uh, and. Um, yeah, so anyway, in the show notes, I'll be sure to uh, put the recipe and put some other interesting information. But uh, anyway, friends, until next time, remember, drink beer. Mostly craft beer, but not too much. Cheers.